Hi, and welcome to our group project, where we're going to discuss with you the four cities that we've gotten to know over the past semester. Those cities are Colorado Springs, Colorado, Bisbee, Arizona, Yakima, Washington, and Lompoc, California. Now for NASA's interplanetary project, we put the cities in the following order. Our first choice was Colorado Springs, Colorado, followed by Yakima, Washington, then Lompoc, um, California, and finally Bisbee, Arizona. I'm going to talk to you about our top choice, Colorado Springs, Colorado, and why we think it would be the best choice for the NASA's interplanetary project. It is a city of about a half million people, but it has seen a rapid population boom over the last decade, and it's done an excellent job of keeping up with this expanded population, not only in expanding the schools, the infrastructure, the roadways. It really understands that it has to expand to meet the demands of the growing community. So we think that would be a benefit to NASA's program because as we brought in this project, there would be not only the people that would be supporting the project directly, but also the tourists that would be coming in to see what it's all about. Since the city has already proven that it can do this in the past, we think that it would continue to do that with this project. They also have a decidedly pro-business city council and mayor. Mayor Southers ran on a platform of job creation and he's done an excellent job of this. So we believe that he would support bringing this project into the community, not only for the additional jobs that it brought that directly supported the project, but the tourism revenue for the people coming in. Tourism is a strong industry in Colorado Springs and I really feel like they would understand and support the project because they understood what it would mean to the tourism dollars for the community. They also have a strong belief in public safety. Now, public safety is important for any community, but for this particular project, there's a certain unknowns, and so having a strong public safety influence is really paramount. Now, they have two military bases. They also have a military training academy, and they understand the importance, and they put their budgetary dollars there because they spend over 60% of their budget on police, fire, and emergency management personnel. They're constantly expanding all three of those areas and adding more personnel as the city and the community expands. So as noted before, they're doing a really great job of expanding. So we believe that this would be a pro thing for the NASA Interplanetary Project. They also have a great school system. They have a school system not only for um, younger education, but also colleges. They have a private college, Colorado College, that has a strong science program. They also have um, the State College, Colorado State College, which has a large auditorium that's multi-million dollars that was just built that we would think would be great for making any sort of announcements or any sort of big presentations that we had for the project. In fact, the auditorium was just christened a couple months ago by astronaut Kelly, so they already have a strong science program and a belief in space travel at the university. We think this would only be a benefit to our particular project. And finally, as mentioned, everyone wants to move to Colorado Springs. So they have, there's a reason that people um, want to move there. It's a beautiful community. There's a lot to do there. Um, they have the mountains, they have the city parks, they have arts and culture. There's so much to do. And so we think that would be a draw for not only the people that are supporting the project, but again, for the tourists, they'd have something to do in addition to going to see what's going on with this NASA project. There's lots of beautiful um, mountains to see. There's trails. There's a history of mining throughout the community. And then there's shopping and spas in case, hey, you want to do something a little bit um, different. So we think overall Colorado Springs is the best choice for this project. Our second choice, a second close choice, is Yakima, Washington. Hi, this is Yanira Escobar, and these are my highlights on Yakima, Washington, which was ranked number two on our community ranking memo. Some of the pros of Yakima is that the facility would be welcomed by a city government. Although it tends to lean more on the Republican side, there are a significant amount of Democrats in the area, and the state of Washington itself is a uh, Democrat state. Businesses are also welcomed in Yakima, and residents encourage business development. Yakima also has a space to develop a facility. Most of the land is agricultural. However, there is still enough space uh, at, uh, slated for business development. Uh, the increase in tourism, jobs and residents that the facility would bring would also mean an increase in revenue for Yakima, which would then be used to uh, hire additional police personnel, fire personnel, and pay for other city resources that the facility would then be using. 
some of the cons and reasons why Yakimo is at number two on our list is uh, the location and lack of logistical resources. Uh, the nearest city, um, big city to Yakima is Seattle, Washington, which is about two hours away. Tacoma is also about two hours away, which will make it very difficult to bring in supplies and other resources uh, for the facility to get it up and running. Uh, there are no other means of transportation other than uh, by driving or uh, taking a small aircraft from Seattle Tacoma International Airport to Yakima's airport. And there are no major uh, bus lines or major uh, train uh, stations in or near Yakima that would make it um, feasible for travel. Uh, there's also an insufficient amount of research and academic resources. Uh, the only college in the area is Yakima Valley College, which is more geared towards workforce uh, programs. Uh, so the students enrolled there are mainly uh, there to get uh, you know, job skills and, and to immediately go to work right after about a two year program. Um, that would make it difficult uh, for uh, NASA staff to uh, depend on that college facility for uh, you know, scientific research facilities or lab facilities and uh, whatnot. There's also an issue of public safety. Uh, Yakima has seen an increase in violent crimes over the past few years, and uh, that is a cause of concern. Uh, one of the reasons that could be attributed to the increase is the lack of police enforcement out there um, and the uh, setbacks that the police has seen in their budget or the city has seen in uh, the budget for police uh, resources. Uh, so that could uh, be a potential uh, hazard for uh, bringing such a facility on there because it would bring um, additional people, um, more population, the city would not be able to control that, um, especially not the city's police. There's also a lack in the talent pool in Yakima itself. So therefore, uh, NASA would have to hire uh, employees from outside the Yakima area, perhaps outside of Washington state, and they would need an incentive to come into Yakima uh, like I said, it's a two hour uh, drive from the nearest uh, large city um, and uh, there aren't a whole lot of options in terms of transportation into the city. So it would be very difficult for it to appeal to um, outside and po potential employees. Um, so these are the highlights of Yakima and um, thank you very much. Hi guys, I'm Juan Valdez and today I'm going to be talking to you about Lompoc, California and why we ranked it number three in our community ranking. Uh, I'm going to start off by going over the strongest point, um, the, which is its proximity to Vandenberg Air Force Base. Uh, Vandenberg Air Force Base currently serves as a Department of Defense uh, missile launching facility and testing site. Uh, it also has a strong NASA presence already as it does at least uh, launch pads to them and SpaceX as well. Um, this shows that the base is capable of bringing on big projects like that, especially considering the high profile um, facility that's going to potentially be coming here. Um, the downfall to all of this is that I think Lompoc lacks the infrastructure for a facility like this, uh, mainly because I think NASA will find it hard to find a, a personnel for its facility in this area considering the workforce in this area is very limited. Um, with that said, I think NASA would uh, run into a bigger issues trying to bring these uh, new people in uh, just because it might not be a very appealing place. Uh, to name a few things is uh, for to start off the education system is not the best it, ha it does have one of the lowest uh, rates in the area uh, even when you compare them to national averages um, another reason being and i think the most important one is just the lack of public safety uh, currently their police force is very well understaffed um, and a product of that has been the, within the last two years, a very high crime rate in both property and violent crimes, mostly related to crime, uh, gang violence. Uh, 
Um, this would obviously make someone think twice about moving here. Um, and not just that, but just having a big facility with that high profile in the same area uh, when they're already lacking public safety resources might not be the best idea. It would compromise the integrity of the whole facility, uh, in my point of view. Um, so yeah, this is why we chose it as number three in our community ranking. Thank you. Um, hello everybody, my name's Andrew, and I'll be going over our last ranked community, which is BSB Arizona. Uh, there are a lot of factors that go into why it's ranked last, but I won't be covering all of them because it's just a summary. Um, some of the few positive outcomes that we've seen with BSB was the fact that it's far from it's far away from any major city. It's positive because um, this is something new that we're experimenting with within organism from out of space and we're trying to bring that life form back here into the states and with, with experimenting with that if something was to go wrong with the facility then we would be able to do some damage control and prevent it from getting and spreading and doing damage to the civilians um, another thing is that Bisbee City Council also focused on providing resources to rebuild its own town um, the city council meetings show that Everything they voted for was was to provide funding for anything that was necessary in the city. Um, our major concerns is that Bisbee is too small of a city with its square mileage reaching only 5.2 square miles and is also secluded in the mountains. The education opportunities are limited and the closest major college is the University of Arizona is in Tucson and it's also the largest, it's the closest major city which is 80 miles away. Bisbee is seven miles away from the border and with the talks of the wall, a lot of resources could be used for the wall instead of the NASA project. BSB also wants to preserve its culture as a historical town. Logistically, BSB has no trains that can run supplies. It also has a small airport that is 15 miles away. With it only being one major highway coming in and out of the city, it would cause major problems with supplying the facility. With limited education opportunities and no recreational activities available like the other communities, no employee would want to relocate to BSB if the NASA facility was moved here. Thank you.